Kochigari and Ochigari. See the difference? Yeah. Ko, smaller. O, bigger. Both of them are exceedingly devastating. Trust me, I know. I got knocked out by uh, Okano, the 1964 gold medalist, when I was training at his uh, Sekijuku, his private school. So he used me as the uke. Bam! And it wasn't very hard, but it was such a perfect throw that down I went. As I'm showing you just kihon no kata, the fundamental way of doing it. There's many, many ways to do it, but this is the, the regular way. They both have a target. On ku uchigari is the back of the heel. On u uchigari is the back of the knee. That's why it's bigger. Ko is smaller. Are you here? On ku uchigari, I want to catch him right here. Looks small, huh? But if he's moving forward and I get him at the right time, you see what happens? That foot, as he's stepping, I catch it and it just zooms out. So that's ko uchigari. On u uchigari, here, my target is right there. You see how it breaks the knee? So ko uchigari here, catch the heel. Ko uchigari here, breaks the knee. It's all a matter of timing. If he steps here, now I go to catch him, no good. He's already planted his foot. So I have to catch him as he's stepping forward. So that takes timing, finesse, and perfect practice. See, you make your foot into a hand, and you catch the heel. See here? See here? Boom. Not here, okay? If you go way over, then it becomes kochigake, or hook. I tell everybody, it takes a thousand times just to learn the technique, 10,000 to polish it. When I come in, and this foot, now watch my kumamusubi as it comes in. You see how my kumamusubi turns? Because my hip is turning. Lots of people just come in here and they go like this. Nothing happens because your nuclear power plant is right here. Your shtahara, the lower abdomen. You have to turn it. That's going to take it so that when you come in here like this, how? See, that's what causes this leg to have so much power that it pulls their foot out from under them. So you have to use your shtahara, your nuclear power plant, your lower stomach. Pow. You're not trying to pick the foot up, so you don't want to bend your knee. You want to keep it straight like a hockey stick, yeah? And then just catch the back of the heel like it was the puck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See that move? <laughs> Uh, okay, here, boom like that, bam. You can get that head to snap back, that's where it's at. That's a very, very strong, very dangerous too, very painful. Yeah, I had a guy bite off his tongue, the tongue, blood all over the place. Yeah, it was a foreigner fighting in the and the Tsukinami Shiai, the monthly Shiai that we have there. So I'm up next, right? Uh, here, I'm waiting, right? And then all of a sudden, you see that and go, oh my God. Yeah. And of course, I got to fight the guy because winter stays up. So he lost, right? So I go out there, first thing I do is... <laughs> Bring your teeth. They just come out, you know, take him off, clean up. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> A piece of tongue. <laughs> Yakitori. <laughs>